Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings, where I do readings for celebrities and celebrities only. So I've been wanting to do this reading for a while now, and I'm like, I gotta get it done because it's been on my mind 24-7. And this is Alice Fine and Cassie, okay? Cassie um is a singer who uh was known well known for having dated diddy for many years but she ended up um getting a connection with alex fine the two of them are married they have two children together i believe and i would love to see the energy around them so i'm not gonna waste any time i'm gonna get straight into this uh, cassie is a virgo and alex is a pisces so, dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages around Cassie and Alex Fine. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages, please, around Alex and Cassie. Overall is the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Eight of Pentacles basically has to do with two people that are very diligent. They could be very passionate, still very passionate about each other. And they also have a lot of high standards. And these two um, are committed to each other. So that's beautiful. That's amazing to have as your overall. This is going to be Cassie. Oh. And this is going to be Alex's side. Oh, baby, y'all, he does not play about this woman. Look at her coming up on his side as the queen of pentacles, okay? Queen of pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So he definitely sees her as his queen. And what's amazing is he sees her as his empress as well. Let me tell you something. Not only is he sexually attracted to her by the way that she looks, he also is attracted to the fact that he thinks she's a damn good wife. She's a damn good mother. He's very attracted to her drive let me tell you he loves it he knows one thing about her she's secure and that she is she is does not play she's gonna get her bag okay so that is definitely something that attracts him bottom of the deck here is the four of swords okay so they could be in a resting period at this time where maybe they're like spending a little time with each other rest and restoration could be going on vacation together or they could just be secluded from like the media at this time so uh when it comes to cassie's side she has the eight of swords the nine of cups the ace of wands the knight of wands as well as the two of wands in the reverse okay so um I will tell you, she is a very passionate person about her career and everything, but there's one part of her career that she's not happy with, okay? Because you have the two of wands here in the, the, the reverse. There's something in her career that she's disappointed with. Um, she may end up making like some changes, maybe moving away from something or making some changes to some area of her career. She's very passionate very passionate um in her life uh, she's experiencing good health at this time a lot of abundance around her she feels a sense of her wishes being fulfilled in her marriage and she's being stable but it's something about her career that is not making her feel that good at this time yeah she's in her head a lot about her career she feels like she experiences a lot of misfortunes when it comes to that okay and i, I do believe a lot of this has to do with her sinking career because if i'm not mistaken she's been doing really really good um in the area of modeling i know that's something that she has always um done um she's definitely losing faith that her career is going to continue to expand like i said very passionate person but i feel like she is leaving something behind with that knight of wands energy also the sexual connection between the two of them is off the charts with that ace of wands let me tell you she has no problems with him in this department so okay <laughs> No problems there because both of them, they know what they want. They know they want each other. Therefore, they put in a lot of work to make sure that it sustains. It's not a perfect marriage. No, no marriage or relationship is. It does come with arguments that sometimes, like I see here, um, you have the seven of swords in the reverse. So they do have their moments. Um, they could also be in this right now where um, they could be experiencing like little petty arguments back and forth. Uh, and yeah there are some petty arguments that's going on back and forth um he could be feeling defeated about something as well i'm gonna pull some cards to see exactly what that is but 
Oh, I see what this is. I see what this is. So that's a Virgo on his side. Okay. Like I said, he loves her very much. He is somebody, I don't know if he's necessarily a people pleaser. I'm going to see how this is coming up, but he tries his best to make sure that she's happy. And when she's not happy, he's not happy. So he wants to do whatever he can to try to make it right. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that he does see her sometimes, even though he loves her to death, he can see Cassie sometimes is very, very stubborn. She can be very rigid about certain things. Okay. Too preoccupied with the ego. He may want her to focus less on trying to always win or trying to get certain things when it comes to her career and to just kind of pull back. She could be somebody that's a workaholic or very detailed, which is why the four swords is here. I do believe that he's trying to pull her back from working so much and understand that she needs to also enjoy the beauty of life and not just about you know what's next okay this is giving me the same energy here as I got when I did a reading for Cassie and um her husband oh god I can't even think of his name Russell Wilson in that reading, if you guys are interested, you can check that one out as well. I'm getting the same energy here. I feel very calm. I don't feel like there's drama. I don't feel none of that negative energy with them. I do feel like he could be somebody that is a little bit of a people pleaser. And he may just kind of, you know, keep in mind he's a Pisces. And what I stereotypically find a lot when I do readings for Pisces is that um, they can mesh really well with somebody else but sometimes to the point of the detriment of themselves where like they give too much of them but they don't have enough of their own identity once they get into a relationship because they're so like i said consumed by their partner because he's all about his woman which is a good thing what woman wouldn't want that but at the same time he got to still make sure that he has a life of his own and you know and make sure that he does stand up and say certain things when he needs to say it because i do feel like for him he does he holds back a lot verbally okay you see how these uh source are in the reverse source of communication and when they're in the reverse that means that um she I, i'm gonna be honest <laughs> i i think he's a strong man but i think she kind of she kind of wears the pants a little bit in this relationship like she what she says goes okay or as i put it before in russell wilson's reading happy wife happy life so he's been taught or i feel like somebody's told him this somebody's told him this he may have parents that have been together for a long time but i strongly feel somebody said hey listen <laughs> happy wife happy life your wife is always right but that's not the case it's two people in a marriage in order for it to work so you know if he has an opinion he should be able to voice it but i do feel that for him, it bothers her when she's in her head a lot, worried about things that he wish he could fix, okay? Trust me, I know exactly how that feels. I'm not a Pisces, but I am the type of person that I had to break away from trying to be the fixer and realize I can only fix myself because when you do this and you're trying to help people so much, it actually ends up backfiring and hurting you in the end. So um, as you get older, you learn to, you know what? If you meant to be in my life, you'll be in it, but I can't force myself. Um, I don't want to lose myself and other people anymore, whether that's friends or lovers. So um, I do feel like a little bit of that is going on, but I don't feel like this is something where they would need therapy. This is just basically... Um, him just standing up and doing what he's doing now, which I feel he's really good at taking her out of her head or taking her away from somebody that is like an overthinker, over you know, overreactor to certain things in her life. And I do feel like this has more to do with her career because, like I said, I'm seeing good health on her side. Um, you know, she's in a, a marriage that makes her feel emotionally healthy. So I think that their biggest problem... It's her. She constantly worries about building, 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 money, money, money. Okay. But that eight of pentacles, because she's going to make sure that she is paid. Okay. Because keep in mind, again, that eight of coins has to do with a person that has very high standards. So she has high standards, which means that um, no matter how much she works, some things may never be enough. Okay. And like I said, this is a very stable relationship with the two of cups here, which means that these two could be soulmates. These two could be, um, soulmates. They could be true loves. Um, you know, or like I said, just two people that really love each other, but of course, no relationship is going to come without problems. Okay. So, um, let's see what else we have here. Yeah. 
Let me pull some intuitive messages and see what comes through. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages, please, that need to come through at this time, please, for Cassie. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages for Cassie and Alex Fine. Okay, you have cycle complete. Okay, so they could have been going through this cycle or I feel like it's more so Cassie could have been going through this cycle where she may have been getting bad news when it came to business. She may be having a hard time getting some criticism around some type of work that she's done. Something she may have wanted to work on didn't kind of necessarily um, come to fruition or it caused her a bit of sadness. Okay, so I do believe that um, they're going to be coming to calmer waters after that. Also, there could be some traveling that's going on or soon to be some traveling or she could be moving okay like i said moving away from a situation or moving in general all right you look at this you have running away from feelings i miss your lips we did have that rest card that full of swords so somebody could be temporarily secluded maybe do the work you have make the move what did i tell you make the move yeah, there's definitely a move going on. Protect your energy, okay? You see what I mean? I really do believe that he is a good support system for her because when she starts to get in her head a lot, which I'm seeing with this Eight of Swords, I do feel like he's somebody that's very common, somebody that's really good for her to keep her grounded, okay? Oh, you cannot make this up. I, man, to keep her grounded, Earth energy, okay? Earth energy. Uh, let me tell you something, especially Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They are the ones that like the beauty of life, you know, working really hard to have a grounded foundation. I feel she worries a lot about making sure that she has like generational wealth, but um, <clears throat> it's important for Earth signs to remain grounded, okay? And I do believe that. Um, she needs to work on protecting her energy, maybe distancing herself from certain people that don't make her feel good, okay? And you all, yes! Baby, if that ain't confirmation, I don't know what is. You cannot make, ooh, shit! Look at that good karma coming through. Let me tell you, when you protect your energy, baby, that good karma comes right behind it. So whatever it is that has caused her some type of stress, I, I, tr I truly feel like she's moving towards calmer waters with that night of wands. Keep running, Cassie. Go towards that good karma, okay? <laughs> like I said, they could be at a distance due to work. So, of course, somebody is thinking about the other sexually. Could be both. You have I touch myself to the thought of you. Of course, we have tan complexion here it could be either one of them uh hey man in the reverse y'all you cannot make this up is this not what i said Ca didn't i say cassie's coming up as the hey man in the reverse a person that's very stubborn not willing to change she doesn't like uh change could be too preoccupied with the ego but she's being told to kind of break that mold uh, of being so focused on earthly possessions, okay? Because the most important thing is the fact that you have a loving husband, support system, and kids, okay? Someone has the initial S. October, something significant could happen in the month of October for this couple. This could also indicate Libra and Scorpio energy. I've waited my whole life for someone like you. Beautiful. That's a beautiful card to come up in a couple's reading. Look at that, Virgo. Let me tell you something. Cassie, girl, girl, <laughs> whatever prayer you did to get you an Alex Fine, please pass that prayer on to these other women because, baby, you, you got you a good one. This man waited his whole life for someone like you. Virgo card comes right after that. He's all, she's all in his energy on his side of the reading. And you have here, pay back your creditors. Like I said, there goes that money thing. She may be concerned due to some money. But you have prize. Baby, know that you are the prize. This man sees you as a prize. And I see nothing but beautiful here. Okay? Let's go ahead and close this off with some love messages moving forward for Cassie and Alex. If you guys are enjoying this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Comment down below. Some other celebrity couples or celebrities in general that you all would like to see me do a reading on. Also, stay tuned because I really, really want to do one. He literally just popped in my head again. But um, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> like, why 
It's Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I don't know that man. Why is he all in my head? Okay. Why is Robert in my freaking head? <laughs> anyways. Anyways. All right. <clears throat> Let me get some of this out the way and I'll close it off with these love messages and what this couple will be blessed with moving forward. All right, so you have attraction. Like I said, these two are very attracted to each other. There's a lot of chemistry. They need to talk it out. They need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation because like I said, I do believe that Alex is the one that kind of holds back um, as far as like verbally because he doesn't, of course, want to upset his wife or he just kind of maybe very choosy with his words. So heart-to-heart -heart conversation is something that will really help this connection grow. But from what I'm seeing, it's a beautiful connection with a lot of romantic feelings okay you have here your feelings are real and worth exploring y'all this couple is legit okay my goodness <clears throat> you have decision awakening and playing it hard i do be do believe that cassie is going through a spiritual awakening where she's needing to leave something in her past which is why you have that knight of wands energy this is all about action adventure being fearless and going into a new direction this will help not only her but her uh, marriage uh, you have decision. It's time to decide about uh, this relationship, okay? What's most important to you? And find time to laugh off and goof off and enjoy each other. Like I said, I believe there's a resting period due to some work or something that may keep them at a distance right now. But their marriage will grow the more they enjoy each other like they did in the beginning, all right? Final messages. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This transformation is going to help their connection. You have, um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't read this reading like I know these folks. Everything you hear in this reading is alleged because, of course, we are dealing with public figures. So keep that in mind that tarot is for entertainment purposes only. But, I mean, this reading was going, okay? <laughs> Your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things you cannot make this up it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself like there you go resting period and i'm not surprised at all that this final card has come out because i said in the beginning they could be either true loves or soulmates and you have the soulmate card okay i love the back of this card as well it says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this, then they will manifest physically. Physically, she has everything she needs and wants. Um, you know, of course, no marriage or relationship is perfect. But from what I'm seeing, these two are perfect for each other. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm Sag Moon Diva. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.